Jaya, welcome, and I highlight your ego. And I highlight, and I highlight annihilation, annihilé, annihilé votre ego. In French, it sounds it's easy to pronounce. In English, I don't get the word right. It feels so good to annihilate your ego. <laughs> Whoa, you know, yesterday I recorded a video about loving your ego. That's, that's great. Here is the other side of the story. Creation, sustenance, you know, preservation, destruction. The two of them go hand in hand. They are like the, the two sides of, of the coin. It's like without destruction, without change transformation, we would be stacked. And so um, ego annihilation is an essential part of our spiritual training and our spiritual evolution. You want to be a tantrika, you, you, have, you must know how to create space. Um, you know, in my life, in the last 25 years of spiritual training and exploration, there has been many cataclysmic events in my life that fucking kicked my ass and just brought me to ashes, to, to the starting point. And so this process of transformation and change it's like it's an essential part of our evolution. If, if destruction was not part of our, our planet or our life, we would keep on accumulating, 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 and the space would be saturated. Especially when it comes to thoughts, mind, transformation. When it comes to your, your ego, to your life, to your personal identity, you know, creating space is an essential part of, of the evolution. And so when I started on my spiritual training, you know, guess what I did? I got rid of 90% of what I had around, around that time. It was like, um, okay, w w do I need this, all these books and all this music and all this stuff? You know, I got rid of my career. I got rid of, of my flat, my car. I got rid of books. Uh, it took me like two years of process to get rid of all that stuff. I was going to the mountains in the night with boxes of stuff and burning all that to the skies. And guess what? After um, about two years of process, I, I felt free. I was like, okay, well, now it looks like I'm ready to move. I'm ready to go. And I went into the spiritual training. I went into this spiritual full-on exploration. And then after seven years of doing that, I was like, yeah, now I'm a strong meditator. I'm spiritually evolved. I can hold space. And I'm like, yeah, great. So... At that moment, I thought, I made it, you know, I'm, I'm close to enlightenment. All I have to do is keep on going in the same way and I will keep on expanding. And then guess what happened? And a woman came into my life and she fucking kicked my ass. She was like, uh-huh, you think you're strong? You think you're powerful? Let's see how you handle me. She grabbed my head and went like, here are your shadows. Go right into fucking dirt there this is creation this is life and so for about a one year period she destroyed me everything that i believed i was strong on she told me look at your foundations look at where you stand it's not strong it's not powerful enough you need to be able to dive into these shadow zones and establish your foundations from a different base and so i did you know i went to live in nature i had nothing left and uh, in this process of living in nature, I felt my whole being just reawakening itself, reborn from the ashes, you know, reawakening. And uh, this process of destruction, transformation and change was an essential part of my evolution. If this woman didn't kick it, come into my life and kick my ass, you know, then I would still be stacked in, in frames that were actually limited. They needed to go. And so they went. And then I rebuild myself from a different base. And, uh, you know, even, even today I have people coming into my existence and being like, okay, well, Shiva, you think you're strong? Uh, let me challenge you a little bit. See how you handle this. And what about the shadow? And, um, you know, especially when it comes to relationships, relating, love life, sexual energy. Man, it's like it keeps on, it keeps on coming. And, and that process of challenging me and attacking me and blasting me over and over again with fire, power, sometimes it's just pure anger being projected in my direction. And guess what happens? It just breaks me. It destroys me. It just burns me. And then what is left, what is left is what is meant to remain. Everything else, everything that is being tested by these firewalls is being 
you know, destroyed, everything that is no longer needed or that is not strong. This is a way for uh, my being to, to expand and keep on growing. It is the same thing, you know, imagine that you meet this guru, you go to, the, to some uh, Himalaya cave somewhere and you meet this sadhu, what, what he will tell you is renounce, let go of your life over there, let go of what you have there so that you can come humble and empty so that you are free to receive. But you cannot receive, you cannot uh, receive new teachings, you cannot tune into something new into your future if you're already saturated. This is why this process of destruction is so important. And guess what? How do you destroy yourself? Well, it's like it's an internal thing. It's something that you can do both internally and externally. You can get rid of stuff. You can get rid of people who are toxic in your life. You can get rid of, of situations, careers that no longer serve you. You can get rid of lots of stuff. But it's also an internal process, a, a reshaping or a reconditioning of, of your neural pathways. In my experience, there is a moment where you get empty, but then a new vehicle starts coming in, something that is more adapted to your evolution and to your path. And so you get rid of the old vehicle and then you start rebuilding something new. And this is where the loving of the new vehicle, which is more adapted, more in line, will come in. And so when I say, you know, uh, destroy your ego, love your ego, those two things, they work together. They are two aspects of, of, of your life and they are two powers or two forces that you can fully embrace. And again, sometimes you don't have the power to destroy your ego yourself. You know, somebody has to come and do it for you. And they are going to be karmic agents for your evolution. So right here, you know, to all those, all those people who came into my life and challenged me and fucking kicked my ass, I say, thank you. Thank you, people. Thank you, guys. Thank you, women, for being agents in my own evolution and allowing me to become a more powerful and better person. Okay, this is the way to look at it. And um, so this, you know, this process of transformation and change and evolution is really part of um, part of what makes you more powerful and more evolved as a as a human being. Hope you get it. I send you love.